U.S. President Barack Obama has declared a state of emergency in Washington state. Several wildfires are now out of control. Thousands of people have been forced from their homes and high winds are pushing one of those fires within six kilometers of the Canadian border. As Robin Gill reports, two B.C. communities are spending the weekend on high alert. An orange glow hangs over this part of Washington state. But there's nothing picturesque about this scene. It's eaten. It's a living, breathing thing. A monster blaze known as the Stickpin Fire is bearing down on a cluster of towns. Overnight, a thousand people had to leave their homes. It just came so fast. I mean, oh, oh my God. Some have nothing to go back to. You just you say goodbye, you know. And we didn't know if we were going to make it. About a dozen fires are burning in the state. The flames are merging and moving in all directions. But as soon as these winds start coming, it'll fan those flames. They'll get a lot hotter, a lot more intense, and you probably can't even be within 100 feet of it. This fire is creeping closer to the Canadian border. In B.C., two communities, Grand Forks and Christina Lake, are on alert. We are putting some, uh, some initial kind of preliminary plans together right now as to what uh, a B.C. response might look like uh, in terms of the fire. There is certainly potential for it to uh, potentially, you know, hit the U.S.-Canadian border. Back in Washington, firefighters stopped to honour three of their own killed fighting the flames. 31-year-old Richard Wheeler, 26-year-old Andrew Zajac, and Tom Pazeski, just 20 years old. He was a special kid, you know. We, we're really going to miss Tom. It's costing Washington $150 million a week to fight the fires. And for the first time, the state is asking for civilian volunteers to help. Firefighters are also arriving from Australia and New Zealand. This is uh, an unprecedented cataclysm in our state. There are 390,000 acres burning. It is flying down this hill. And more and more residents are running from the flames. I think I might need to go. A dry landscape and epic winds are allowing a very aggressive fire to get the upper hand. Robin Gill, Global News, Vancouver. It is a different story in Alberta. Can you believe they are already seeing snow in the Rockies, west of Calgary? Webcams at the Lake Louise Ski Resort and Sunshine Village show snow is falling at higher elevations. Don't get your skis out yet, however. The snow isn't expected to last. 